your first day. You remember everything I taught you, right? Yeah, I got this. And if I do good, you'll talk to God about getting me that raise, right? Yeah, right. And what else? A desk next to Gabriel. Ooh, that sounds good. Just get to work. Ooh, my first caller. Thanks for choosing God. How may I help you? Yes, that's in his cupboard. Yes, that's in his cupboard. Yes, that's in Ooh. You did what? Oh, girl, no. Mm -mm, you're going to hell. Why did you do that? You know what? I just, I can't have this ungodliness in heaven. So I'm just going to, just going <laughs> to. of the blood of Jesus covers all did you not understand it's heaven hotline 101 it's the first thing I taught you oh my bad I'm gonna I'm just call her back we can we can do that right Man. Um, this doesn't make me ineligible for that raise right girl don't make me call Michael to kick you out of this hey, place hey. hey girl you you know I was just playing right of Be course patient, it's covered I, you see I was just testing your faith yeah that's all you know you know we do that up here <laughs> you know thanks for choosing God how may I help you Yes, that's in his cupboard. Yes, that's in his cupboard. I ain't never heard that one before, but I promise you that sin is covered. You are still loved by God, all right? No problem, my dear. Now, make good choices and don't go seeing for yourself because Jesus already seen it all, trust me. Take care. I'm gonna need a raise. Thanks for choosing God, how may I help you? Yes, ma'am, I could definitely check to see if you're eligible for your next miracle. Let me just pull up your file. Okay, so it says here you've been paying your tithes, been giving to the poor, even held your tongue against that rude customer instead of cussing her out. Is she the one with the cussing problem? Yes, it's hashtag turn the other cheek, hashtag progress, hashtag Jesus did it. Well, it's looking like everything is good. Let me just check with management. Miracle is yours, sis, and that's on period. <clears throat> Thanks for choosing God. How may I help you? Okay, first of all, young man, I'm gonna need you to take that bass out of your voice. This is your heavenly father's hotline. Here, one of your little friends. Mm, don't worry about it. Jesus' forgiveness package covers that too. So you say you're mad because God isn't answering your prayers, but according to your file, boy, you just prayed for this yesterday. Okay, look, I'm gonna send you some scriptures to read that'll help you out. But in the meantime, put a little work behind that faith. Remember, God loves you, patience is a virtue, and so is cleanliness. Boy, go and clean your room. I can see the mess all the way from up here. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Bye-bye now. Your kids are something else. Gotta love them. Indeed. Thanks for choosing God. How may I help you? Yes, we do take prayer requests. Yes, faith without works is dead. What? No, I absolutely cannot do that for you. We answer prayers, so it's not personal vendettas. Mm-mm, child, I cannot condone that type of behavior. Your boss said what to you? All right, look, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but the next time they want to talk to you like that, you stand 10 toes down. You let them know you are a child of God and you are not to be played with, okay? Now, in the meantime, I'm going to add more grace to your package. But remember, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. He'll handle it. What you mean am I sure? I'm looking at him right now. See? Handled. <laughs> no problem love now just stay in prayer and no need to get all dark and violent and stuff jesus got you all right bye bye now i'm gonna still need that raise thanks for choosing god how may i help you you'd like to speak to who oh baby no mary ain't been answering nobody's prayers since she been up here yeah for real <laughs> peter girl last time i spoke to peter he said the last time he tried to give y'all advice y'all hung him upside down on the tree Peter ain't coming to the phone. Paul. Girl, when Paul came up here, he was out here screaming something about, I fought the good fight, finished my race, a.k.a. he is done. <laughs> Michael. Girl, Michael's somewhere out there probably beating some demon behind. Baby, look, I'm going to just be honest, okay? All these saints, they up here enjoying their well-deserved rest. None of them coming to the phone. But you do know you can talk to Jesus directly, right? What you mean he don't have time for you? I'll ask him right now. See, he said he got you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to squeeze you into his schedule right now so you can speak to him. Oh, don't thank me because, I mean, he's actually always available. 
My job's actually really easy, but don't tell nobody I said that. <laughs> all right, well, you go have a nice chat with Jesus. And don't forget, don't go see it for yourself because Jesus already seen it all. Trust me. All right, bye-bye now. Yo, Jesus, how about that raise? Thanks for choosing God. How may he help you? Oh, you're new? Well, welcome to the kingdom. Hey, sure we could go over your package benefits. What questions did you have? Yes, your food is covered. Yes, your clothes are covered. Yes, your health is covered. <laughs> yes, your whole life is covered. As a matter of fact, this is the best life insurance you ever gonna get. Everything got nothing on this. Oh, but there is one condition though. You just gotta make sure you seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, and then everything you need will be added automatically. What you mean I'm not sure? Look, when do you think was the last time a bird called heaven asking for food? Yet every single day God feeds that bird. Don't you know how much more important you are to God than a bird? So don't worry. Of course I ain't lying. I can't lie up here. God be watching me 24-7. See? <laughs> All right, no problem. We'll have a good day. Bye-bye now. Father, we got another one. I just might give you that raise. I want a desk right next to Gabriel. Don't push it. Okay. Thanks for choosing God. I might help you. Whoa, whoa. Okay, slow down. What's the emergency? Oh, okay. I am sending help right now. Wait, hold up. There seems to be something blocking me in the system. Is there something you ain't telling us? You know honesty is heaven's policy. It could be something you did, any unforgiveness you're holding in your heart, anything. Ah, okay. List out those three things for me quickly. Oh, that's it. Yes, that sin is covered. Yes, that sin is covered too. Yeah. I ain't ever heard that one before, but you are most certainly loved by God because that sin is covered. All right, your file is cleared. Dispatch, you need it on Earth in Zone 8. This is a code red on it. Help is on the way. You are very welcome now. Stay blessed. And remember, don't go see it for yourself because Jesus done seen it all. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Now about that raise. Thanks for choosing God. How may I help you? Oh, it's Teddy again. Oh, Lord. Teddy, we've already been through this. I, all right, I'll ask him. Teddy's asking for a million dollars again. He wants to know where it at. Ask him where my tides at. Well, Teddy, according to your records, God blessed you with a hundred bucks last week and you still haven't given him his portion. That being said, may I remind you that he who is faithful with little, God has no problem giving so much more. It's just one of heaven's policies. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. So my suggestion to you is that you get yourself together with what you do have and then you could call back and we could discuss an increase, all right? Now, is there anything else I can help you with today? Cool, so have a blessed day. And remember, don't go see for yourself because Jesus has already seen it all, trust me. Bye-bye now. You know, I always pay my tithes. Thanks for choosing God, how may I help you? You'd like to file a complaint against who? God. I do not get paid enough for this. Okay, what's your complaint? False advertising. Man, look, God may be a lot of things, but a liar ain't one. No, we did not change our policies. Two things about God. He cannot lie and he cannot change. What policy are you talking about anyway? First John 5, 14 and 15. I assume he hasn't answered your prayer. Well, like I tell everybody, Proverbs 15, 29. God answers the prayers of the righteous. So that probably means you not. Huh? You are righteous. May I ask what your prayer was? Yeah, he ain't ever gonna answer that prayer. He never answers prayers outside of his will. And I can guarantee you that him ending your life early is not in it. Because you, my dear, were created for a very special reason. You are literally God's solution to a problem in the world. Thing is, you need to be in the world to fix it. You feel me? And you can do it because everything you need to accomplish your purpose was already placed inside of you since birth. You just need to discover it. So keep seeking, all right? And I promise you, you will find it. No problem, my dear. Now have a good day. And remember, don't go see for yourself because Jesus done seeing it all. Trust me. Bye-bye now. If not a raise, you can at least give me a bonus for that one. I'll consider it. Yes. <clears throat>